get into it. Hey. <laughs> so, for all of you, my name is Susanna. My little lady, my name is Sabrina, and, and we are from Unibound. <laughs> Uh, Unibound is a five-week summer program that pairs Pacific mentees with Pacific mentors who help, guide and prepare Pacific students for university life. Starting Unibound, I was really nervous but excited at the same time to meet like new people. I expected it to be like really hard, like a lot of work. But then once we got into it, it was really like... I don't know, it just felt so comfortable and like it wasn't like stressing because we got to like do like dancing it wasn't just writing <laughs> and yeah I equally similar to Sabrina was nervous as a mentor because you come in being a student yourself but you are giving it a capacity where you were once in their shoes and it felt like over the summer we had built this village for these students as well as you know even though we were mentors ourselves but we were literally like their older sibling, helping them transition in, in such a crucial time for them. So yeah, equally nervous, because you know, we're coming out of a pandemic, still very much is, but being in person and doing this with our own was humbling and yeah, exciting challenge for us and opportunity. I actually had separation anxiety being away <laughs> from my students, but it was really good to be in a pathway which was out of my field. And it was really interesting to see Pacific people are really passionate about, um, say for example, health sciences and having Having a Pacific lens on that was very humbling and you know being outside of my faculty and seeing kids who want to be future neuroscientists and being future doctors of our people was yeah that was really exciting I was like whoa I didn't like science in high school but it was really humbling to see a different lens which was nice so yeah how did you find I found it inspiring like um, having mentors that are like Pacific Islanders and they're like top in their faculty and then having them to um, like talk to you it was just touching because like, um, it motivates you to actually just work harder because just because you're Pacific Islander doesn't mean like you have to like degrade yourself in that, you know? And yeah, it just pushes you to want more for yourself, yeah. I believe coming from a background where everything was taught in class, like we learned a lot of common subjects in most like lectures you're sending in workshops. Whereas for the Pacific lecture we did, it was hands-on experience but as well as a theory part. So we got to learn more about Pacific history, more in touch with our, is it Melanesia? No, yeah, yeah, more Melanesia. And then we got to do the practical. I was like, did we sign up for F45 <laughs> class? So yeah. that was, um, I was like, I'm pretty sure, like was that in the contract that we signed up for? But it was really humbling to see how colonization played a big part in um, that community and then seeing how dance has evolved and how we can tell our stories. So we we're getting a workout as well as getting um, yeah. the theory part at the same time, which was awesome. So I think um, I think being in the Fale and um, doing our first academic course was, it's what mostly brought us together. Like dancing together and learning a new culture was really different yeah, and new. It was cool, like we didn't have just like the same thing every day but it was good to like um, experience different uh, courses. It's awesome that the mentors had an allocated slot um, either in their day or during the week to run mentor workshops so for my bulk, my, my group, we I got the opportunity to share everything I had learned and what I studied so I did marketing as a major in Bachelor of Commerce and then being able to tailor that to our students in regards to brand perception um, was really vital because I know for sure when I delivered that workshop for for um, these students, I told them that how you perceive yourself and how people perceive you is really key because then when you go out into the workforce, um, that's like your golden ticket. And so being a Pacific person, there's so many layers and that you need to um, obviously unravel to people. And so how you present yourself is so key and being a Pacific person is, yeah, your greatest asset. So yeah, I was really honored to share this with my ball. Sports Day was one of the um, best memories in, throughout Unibound. Um, we got to um, interact with each other more, um, not only just in the fale, like doing our um, academic courses, but um, also like um, interacting through like sports and having fun. And um, we also got to um, meet our um, students, student associations, um, like for example, um, COP, so that's Commerce or Pacifica. And um, it was just, um, it was so helpful for them to come out and talk to us. So like, um, cause how it's our first year and we get to like, you know, join with them and it's a lot of help, yeah. 
It was really good for the students to get a taster of um, opportunities abroad. So we had 360 International come through and talk to with our students um, and scholarships are available. I know with the borders slowly opening up and restrictions are easing, um, our students are not restricted to stay here. Um, you know, for their second year, they can consider going to like somewhere in Europe to study. So that was really cool. Um, we also had Campus Life or Campus Care come through. Um, so it was really good, that the, especially for our Pacific students, you know, we manage a lot of things. You know, family, cultural stuff, and on top of that, they're studying. So it was really good to, for them to know that there are um, health and well-being services available for them. So that when you know the going gets tough, there's opportunities for them to get extensions, etc. So that team was awesome to have. Um, and then we also had um, leadership through learning. So it was really good for the students as well. Again, to really understand their purpose. I know most of them probably came to uni like, oh, I came to uni because my mom and dad <laughs> said I had to come. But then it was good for them to uncover cover like why they want to come to uni and then kind of unpacking from that like the how and the what because that's what's going to help them um, stay in their degree and you know get capped in the end so that was a really awesome talk from them. Um, what was the last one? Unleash, yeah. Oh, Unleash. Um, Unleash was fun. Um, we got to like um, make things. <laughs> um, we did, we also like, um, we got into groups um, in, in our own bowl and like we got to like um, do robotic stuff and it was really competitive even though we were just one bowl but <laughs> um, yeah um, taking leadership like um, we had one person that had to like introduce our robot and stuff but um, I think it, like it gave us confidence and it was fun <laughs>